Well, good morning and good fishing, I hope. It's a beautiful day to be on the lake today. I'm out in Wayzata on Lake Minnetonka. I thought I'd try fishing on these new docks they just put in. So far, I'm loving it. You can, you can see that they got a brand new set over there by what used to be sunsets. Take a nice little look across this beautiful lake of ours. Up, I see somebody sailboating out there. So that's kind of nice. I love this lake. I grew up on this lake. Been fishing here almost 50 years. But now you can see the, uh, the rest of the new docks. I'm actually on the ones over there by the depot. And I've been throwing my daredevil out all morning. I haven't caught anything yet, but I imagine that's probably because I slept in. You know, that happens when you're a truck driver. But I'm liking what I see here so far, so hopefully I get up earlier in the morning, have a little bit better luck. I got a feeling this is going to be a great spot for fall muskies if the weeds don't uh, come in. I haven't been fishing on Lake Minnetonka very much for the last few years. It's just been too weedy. But we got all that rain here, and looks like the lake level rose up faster than the weeds did. So hopefully it'll stay that way for a while and we can make up for all this time I didn't get to go fishing this year. But I've been just throwing the daredevil off the ends of the docks. And it's just been real nice. It's been a real good day so far. These docks are open from 5 to 10 for fishermen. It's actually after 10 and I haven't been kicked off yet. So maybe that's just because the boats haven't come in. Maybe they just start later in the day when, uh, you know, it's during the week. I don't imagine it's going to get too busy in the morning. So maybe they won't come and kick me off. Even if they do, though, they still have the old charter dock over there. So if you get kicked off here, you can just go fish over there. You just got to make sure that uh, you don't interrupt the other people that are trying to sit there and read a book. And if one of the big boats comes in to unload, you got to get out of the way. Otherwise, it's been a great fishing spot. Now, one thing I did get to thinking about, usually you cast out off the end of the docks and you cast out in the middle of the lake. And then some big old fish will come swimming out from under the dock and smile at you. But I got to looking at the arrangement here and I thought, hey, why don't I stand over there between the docks? Throw my daredevil out from there, and then I got the fish on both sides looking at it on the way in. So I did that a few times, didn't catch anything, but again, that could just be because I slept too late. It could also be because these docks are brand new. They just put them in here this uh, spring. Very possible they might have just scared off all the fish and they haven't moved back in yet. Over time, though, been a great, excellent place for fishing. I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time here again. Yeah, and a lot of people walking up and down that lake walk over there. I'd actually hoped I'd be able to just go right along there and cast a line out. They don't want you fishing over there. But after seeing all the people walking by all the time, I can understand that. They don't want you to snag some girl in the eye while she's pushing her baby along. Probably don't want to snag the baby either. You might cast and accidentally launch the baby across the lake and catch yourself a muskie or something. I don't know. Be the first muskie I ever caught, but I'm hoping that'll change this year. Looking forward to some of that fall muskie fishing. But I think I'm done putting the daredevil out. I'm going to throw one of those muskie lures on. I'm going to give that a chance. So, thank you. Make sure you click like and survive. Hard to talk when you got dentures in sometimes. Make sure you click like. And subscribe, all that other good stuff. I'll see you next time on the Birdman's Trail. Oh, look at that. Maybe he's coming to get me and take me out on his boat so I can catch the fish.